Welcome to another episode of Expectations. In this episode, we'll be focusing on one of the oldest organizations in the LCS, Team Solo Mid. Going into the new season, TSM started a brand new roster with only Bjergsen in the mid lane. Then they added four new players, including Haunter, Svenskaren, Doublelift, and Yellowstar. Every player on this roster has a ton of experience in the LCS. On paper, this team seems like they'll be a top contender in the NA for the first spot. However, right now they're only sitting at 8 and 6 in 4th place in the standings. Not only did TSM did a huge revamp of their player roster, they also made a lot of changes to their staff as well. They kind of did what CLG did. They picked up a traditional coach for their head coach, in this case would be Casey, and they also picked up George from Fnatic. This coaching setup seemed like a really good idea at the time, but however, going into the season, they end up having to drop Casey as he wasn't working well for the team. TSM ended up picking up Wild and Green, who showed great success and made a huge impact on the team's performance, but that was short-lived, and Meldon has moved on to a different team, Ember. The most recent change TSM made to their staff is George stepping down from being the stage coach, and Parth, who previously worked with TSM in the past, stepping back up and becoming the stage coach again for pick bands. When you're talking about TSM staff, the one person you have to mention is Reginald. He is the owner of TSM, he has a lot of experience in the scene. He kind of reminds me of how high it is for C9, Reginald is like the glue to keep TSM together and keep them performing well. All right, moving on from staff, let's talk about some player changes that TSM has made in the offseason. Wild Turtle is the only player that the TSM departed with that still plays in the NA LCS. His replacement AA from CLG is considered one of the best AD carries in North America. Obviously, this seems like a big upgrade on paper, but so far in the season, the stats says otherwise. For example, Wild Turtle has a much higher KD than Doublelift, and his team Immortals is 12-1 and, and first place in the NALCS standings. However, Double F has a higher kill participation, as well as a little bit higher damage per minute. To turn it around to that Fiora, but he's on his own. Key goes in there a little bit too deep, but they do trade. Bjergsen will ult himself. Hanser trying to zone Loken out. He's going to go over the wall. That's a good place to be away from a Fiora, but it is a double kill coming in from Double F. Double F grabs the triple. He's turning the spider around the big way. There's the Quadra. Can he go for the Penta? He's only got to kill crazy, crazy. Getting back to his turret. Hanser setting it up. Penta kill for Double F. And TSM takes that lead right back in a big way. Both of these players have been doing decently well on their team, but Turtle has been improved a lot. He seems to be playing way better on Immortals than he ever did on TSM. The prey. He gets the kill he needs. And it looks like Immortals makes their way into the base, this time stomping their feet left and right. Rush is going to take a final hit from Turtle. He's on a bunny Fufu, even through a breakable. Almost takes him down. And just waiting for a minion wave here. I got, no, Turtle's not. Never mind. He doesn't need to wait. Moving on to the next roster change. Svenskeren has a lot of hype coming to NA. Compared to the last TSM's jungler, Santorin, he's a bit more of a carry type and aggressive, while Santorin was more supportive for the team. Up and Adder is down, Svenskeren is on the flank, Stixay and Aphromoo in front. Nice he's gonna miss a big person of Stixay, he's gonna get hit with the Q, he's got a run and still gets him! Flash or not, this will be a two for zero, the red comes through, double it and Svenskeren taking him down as the two marksmen on the team, 13 to one, TSM. When it comes to junglers on TSM, the team playstyle seems to highlight the other roles and makes the jungler look like they're underperforming when they're really not. The two other foreign players from TSM, Darius and Lesboy, has parted their ways. While Darius stayed with TSM to become a full-time streamer, Lesboy has gone back to Korea and become a coach for the team Lone Drew, who's doing really well in the LCK. Now that we looked at all the team changes, let's look at how the team's currently doing. Right now TSM is 8-6 and six and 4th place in the NA LCS. They've definitely not performed as well as people expected them to be and their recent performance in IAM has not shown too much improvement. Coming back from IAM, I expect TSM has learned a lot from their experience. However, they're still going through a lot of code changes. Nothing seems to be set in stone. How good's it gonna be? A kick into the wall, Pope Alter misses the Q. That was a miss more than a dodge. Hooney wants what he can, but he's not gonna get the kill before the passive of the ultimate runs out, and the charm's gonna mean his death. A double kill for Bjergsen, and TSM are ahead here. I still think that TSM remain a fourth place team, Go into the playoffs, I think TSM definitely needs to step up or make some changes if they want to go to MSI. Hey man, shockwave! There goes the Thunderlords. They're on to Frog and he's forced to flash, and it's on to Big Pearson. The move and dissonance to take down Key. And that's gonna be the double kill. More than that though, three overall just for Svens Garen. The dragon is still TSM's. This concludes another episode of Expectations. The LCS is back in action this weekend, and let me know what team you guys want to talk about next. See you next week and thanks for watching.